Hey Wompers, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a super cute strawberry milk design, including a lot of general tips and tricks on creating with Womp. This is beginner friendly, so feel free to follow along to create your very own model. And with that, let's jump straight in. So let's start by changing the backdrop to something that fits a pastel color palette a little more. And then we can go and grab our first basic primitive from the top bar menu. We'll start with a cube for the basic carton of the milk and we can also scale it hovering over the edges and using the handles. In the menu at the right we can also round it up which fits the cute style a little more. And at the top we can choose our color. I'm going for a pastel pink-ish color. And we can also save this material so we can apply it to any other primitive or union later. Next, we're going to make a copy. We can simply hold down Alt and drag it out there for making a copy. And I'm turning on the Z axis of the mirror so we can subtract from both sides at the same time. Holding down Shift allows us to rotate in 45 degrees angles and now we can turn this shape into a negative in the menu at the right to subtract from it. We wanna make it so it kinda hits the middle and also give it a bit of gooping, maybe around 20 just so we keep the roundness of the overall style. And this looks very cute already. Let's now copy our first shape again, and we see it's affected by our negative here, so we need to drag it below the negative in the scene list. It's important to remember that negatives or gooping always affect all other primitives above them in the scene list, so when you drag it below them, it won't affect them. Now, once we've edited the top shape here to our liking, we can also apply a different material to it. So we go to the materials menu and we can click on our saved material and click duplicate and apply. Now we have the same material, but saved as a new one that we can make change to. I'm going to turn this into more of a whitish direction and I think that looks really cute. So this is basically the base of the whole carton. And next we can go on to create some detail. So now let's bring all of our shapes inside of their own union and then let's design the base of the box. For this base design I want to bring in some white. So let's make a copy of our base cube and change the color to white using our saved material. And we also want to scale it slightly bigger from the center. Next we make a copy and that copy we basically use to subtract it from the top. So make it a bit bigger, turn it into a negative and now we can bring it down to create our first detail. This looks nice, but I want to bring in a little curve at the front. And now we're going to make one more copy of our negative that we can turn into a cylinder shape. We rotate it the other direction, and now we have this wonderful little pattern for our cotton here that creates some nice detail. So next up, we come to some elements to grace it with. And first off, I want to create a little cute strawberry. For that, I'm getting out the curve primitive. I'm deleting the second curve point, going into the curve settings where I'm increasing density and maybe lowering goop strength a little bit. Next, we're choosing a strawberry red color. We also want to increase uh, roughness a little bit. And next up, we just make a copy of the point, holding down Alt again and dragging it. It's a really quick way to extend curves and play around with them. And then we just try to bring it into shape so we have a strawberry shape. And then we can start adding some more details. So first off, I want to copy this whole curve that we just created. Bring the first point to the top without the other ones. And this one we are going to change to a green color. So we make some leaves at the top. For some cute leaves, we can simply make a small point, copy that point, make it a bit bigger, and make a third point that is a bit smaller again. To extend it quickly, we can simply copy this curve, and we can then also turn on the axe mirror if we drag it to the right, and then we have it on both sides. We rotate it a little bit, and we have some perfect graphic design-like leaves for the strawberry. Next, I just want to flatten it out a little bit, so I'm clicking on the union of the strawberry and get out a new primitive. In that way, it is straight away at the bottom of this union. We then turn a cube into a negative to subtract it from the front. We can also click on material residue, in that way we make sure that our negative doesn't affect the material and I'm smoothing it out with some gooping as well. 
Next up, I'm using basic cylinders and with the axe mirror, so we have them mirrored on both sides to create some eyes. And for that, I'm also rounding them up. It's kind of just part of the whole style to have this roundness and gooping on it. And we're making them kind of flat. Then we make a copy of them. Stretch the cylinder copy, turn it into a negative, and with some gooping and the right placement, we can give them this kind of cute eyes. We just need to bring it down a little bit. And we bring them inside of their own union so they don't affect the rest of the strawberry. Now to make the mouth, we simply copy them and we bring them in, in the middle and we rotate them upside down. So now we have the perfect mouth for it. And then I'm just quickly extending it with some more rounded cylinders. I think it looks really cute. When we're then overall happy with our strawberry design, we can simply drag it onto our milk. I think it fits perfectly with the cylinder based pattern design at the bottom here. And next I'm simply writing milk with the curve tool here. This is how you can create text. You can also play around with the roundness settings of the curves to decide if you want more rounded up text or more edgy or sharp. It's very fun to play around with and very easy to do as well. You simply copy the points holding down Alt and dragging them out there just as before. After I'm finished with the text, I'm also using another cube to subtract it a little bit, flatten it out just like we did with the strawberry as well. Um, you can make it a bit more smooth with some gooping. And next up, I'm adding a straw to it. So I'm using a rounded up cylinder, make a negative inside, make another copy that's a little bit bigger to give a different color. And now here comes a cool trick. So first we want to make a cube so we can have some spaces on the blue part of the straw. So we make a few of those, copy them around, and then we select all of them together in the scene list and now rotate them to the side. And that way we get this kind of nice pattern on the straw as well. And to finish it off, I'm just adding some rounded sparkles to it by just simply gooping two rounded cylinders together. I think they definitely add to the cute and cozy design that we have going here. And yeah, once we're happy then, we can decide on the lighting. First off, we want to change the globe lighting that always affects your shadows, colors, and brightness. You can also individually play around with the exposure and then add some individual lights to make it even more appealing. For example, we want to add a spherical light to the side of it. We can also change the color. Maybe we'll go for a purple, pinkish tone from one side. And then we are also creating a warmer tone from the other side. I always like that. And just like that, you can play around a little bit to polish up your creation even more. When we're then all happy, we can click on publish at the top right, choose our thumbnail, type in the title. We'll just call this cute milk. And you can add the hashtag easy if you found this tutorial easy to follow along. And you can also choose your copyright settings or share it in a warm chat and then publish your creations. We can't wait to see your versions of this on the Discover page. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.